Hi, this is Mehmet. In this video, I'm going to introduce you a very useful note-taking software. Let's get started. Many of you know note-taking software like Google Keep, uh, Microsoft OneNote and Zornal, and you use them in your online courses. Recently, one of my friends showed me another software, PDF Annotator, and I really like it and I decided to share it with you. There are really cool features, excellent tools in the software. I'm going to share it with you in a minute. But first of all, let's go to pdfannotator.com and um, download the software. You can click the link in the description below and access the website. And here's the website. This is not a free software, by the way, but we can try it for 30 days. They just released the latest version of PDF Annotator, guys. It is PDF Annotator 8. They just released it last week and let's download it and try it if you like it you can buy the activation key and use it forever okay let's install the software it is installed now let's see what we have when you first open it it's a little bit slow because it uploads some pages from the internet and we can close this introduction page now we need to create a document or upload a PDF file um, to work with this software. Okay, let's create a document first. You just need to click the file ribbon and choose new document. And look at those options guys. We have blank paper, striped paper, squared paper, graphing paper, designing papers and dots papers. There are a lot of options. I'm gonna choose five millimeter squared paper. We can also set paper size. I really like A4, but um, letter size is popular here. So I'm going to choose a letter size. And you can also decide the number of pages you need. And let's say 10 pages and click OK. I want to use my graphics tablet and write something, but the cursor is not visible. You are probably seeing it very well because of the screen recorder I'm using it. it uh, affect some animations on it but when you try it you will see the problem and I will also share it with you now so look at this one guys so it doesn't look really good right it's really hard to see the cursor however um, there is a solution let's click on extras ribbon and choose settings and there are a lot of settings here and we can go to cursor now and yeah let's make it visible all the time and that's great you can you definitely need to open this setting guys now it is easy to follow up i created 10 pages documents and if i need more pages i can easily add it and we can click edit ribbon choose page and see i can insert different kinds of pages different sizes and multiple pages here if I want to delete some pages, again I can use the same ribbon and delete it. I can also edit the pages like um, I can rotate it and I can move it, etc. And let's start writing it, right? Let's write something on it. I'm not using this software like that because I usually upload my PDF files. But if you don't have PDF files, if you want to write on a blank paper, so it looks like that when you write on it. So now I will insert a PDF file and let's click the file ribbon, click open, choose the file and I created this nine question sample for you guys to show um, all the features uh, of the software. My document is here but again it doesn't look user friendly right all these uh, toolbars and ribbons and options I really don't like it. So uh, click this little rectangle icon at the top it is full screen icon and let's zoom in yeah that is much much better right and on the left hand side um, we have the toolbars and we can easily um, access the tools now and after we edit this toolbar it will be really 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 useful for us i'm using blue green and red three pens and let's add them here let's make this one blue i always choose the second thickness um, that's great I will do the same with the green and uh, I need one more, a red pen. Let's click on the settings icon at the bottom, um, close this part 
and uh, let's choose a blank rectangle here it automatically gives you a pen and let's make it red okay and we need to move it to the top next to other pens right you need to click move up button but the thing is you have to click it one by one and let's change the thickness and use them to solve first question I also use um, highlighters, one yellow, one blue. Uh, it's really useful, you can highlight anywhere you want. It can be a text, a picture, or your solutions. And there is also additional setting here. If you click this um, text option, um, the red one, if you open this, um, the software detects um, the text, and you can only highlight the text. So if you click the word, it will automatically be highlighted. However, I don't use it because it doesn't let me highlight my solutions. You see, it says no text found. Um, there's also a text tool. Sometimes it is not easy to write long sentences with the pen. And in those situations, guys, I use the text option and just type on it. And there are two text options you see. The first one has a white background. The other one has a yellow background. I use the yellow one in my lectures because I want my students focus on what I am writing on it, right? And next, there are some stamps here. They are really useful uh, when I solve multiple choice questions or questions like in example two. Uh, we have some correct and some wrong answers here and we can definitely show uh, the solution with these stamps. Okay, look at this guys. It looks great it looks professional and when you click on these stamps guys you can see tens of them here and you can choose the one you want to use in your lectures and there are also some emojis here okay they are really cool let's try this one very good um, very high quality stamps we have here and there are also some geometric elements we can um, use to enhance our online lectures and we have lines, arrows, and some shapes here. Let's change the settings one more time and uh, see the elements on the toolbar. I want to add a line here and a line with the arrow here. And I want arrow on both sides uh, to create something like coordinate planes. And um, you can choose what exactly you want. That's great. And I want a dashed line and uh, they're really useful in geometry lessons and uh, there are also two shapes we can add uh, we can add a rectangle and uh, we can add an ellipse and let's talk about example three and uh, we need to draw a table after we find the roots right so um, we can use the line tool however it's not easy to draw vertical and horizontal lines um, there are two ways to cope this problem the first way is you can press shift while you are drawing like we do in Microsoft um, Office programs. It gives you the lines in every 15 degrees. And if you say my keyboard is far away from me and I, can, I cannot reach shift, right? And you can definitely click this line tool and open this setting, the angle one. It gives you the same feature. And next example wants us to draw a triangle, but we don't have a triangle in this software. And however, we can easily use the line segments to draw. Um, if you want to create triangles, you don't need to um, open this angle setting, guys, because sometimes it doesn't let you connect the corners as you want. And um, it's useful when you draw right triangles, but um, not useful all the time. And there's another feature here guys, the software automatically detects the shapes and connects the corners by itself when you get closer closer to it. And it's really cool. And let's talk about the question again. Yeah, it says draw a right triangle. Let's erase that one. And to access eraser quickly guys, we can use the shortcut keys on the pen you have here and or you have uh, shortcut keys on the tablet you can definitely use it if you don't want to use those keys guys you can use your keyboard and uh, e for the eraser and p for the pen 
and they are really really useful i also use another shortcut um, the letter u um, it is a selection tool it lets you select things you write and draw um, by using this tool guys you can definitely move your writings move your drawings and you can change their size you can make it bigger and smaller uh, or you can duplicate them and let's draw a right triangle abc here and I need two perpendicular sides, right? It's like one vertical, one horizontal. So I'm gonna use the angles, angle option for those two sides, but I'm not gonna use it for the last one. So here is the right triangle. And next example wants us to draw a coordinate plane. Now uh, we can use the lines with the arrows. Let's open the angle option one more time and draw it. And here's the coordinate plane we can now show the points. To solve this question, guys, we don't need to actually draw it, right? We can also upload a blank coordinate plane as a picture uh, from your computer or from the internet. So let's search on Google. Uh, I found a lot of blank coordinate planes here. And this one looks really good. Let's just copy it and paste it to PDF annotator. You don't even need to download it guys, just copy and paste it. And after you paste it, you can resize it and that's it. You can annotate on it. It is really simple. Next, let's talk about measuring angles. We can measure distance, area, perimeter and angles in this software. These are cool. And I will show you how we measure angles. I will leave the full screen mode and choose the angle sign right here. You have to choose the vertex first and then uh, one side and this side in should be in a way that you can draw your angle anti-clockwise. You can also graph with this software. I'm going to create a bar graph, not with those values, but I will just do a random uh, numbers, random bars. Let's create the first axis by using line segments and again, the angle option open. Okay, now let me put some random bars here. We can use rectangles to do that. And by the way, when you draw shapes like rectangles, guys, you may realize that it gives you the dimensions and area at the top. And another thing, when you choose a rectangle tool and click this red square icon, it gives you the square. And ellipse tool also works the same. You can graph ellipses, and if you click this red circle option, it gives you circles. I actually talked about copying and pasting picture option and uh, I will give you another example uh, very quickly. We can use digital tools to graph this function, right? Because we don't have a graphing tool here. But after you graph it, you can copy the graph by using a snipping tool and paste it here. Then um, resize it, annotate it, investigate all the important elements of the graph. And the last example wants us to draw an um, acute triangle and it wants us to find the height. And for those questions, guys, we can definitely use a dashed line. I will show you one more thing, guys. Um, the laser tool. They just added this feature last week. It is really cool. It's a digital laser and you don't need to highlight everything because it looks messy when you do that right you can use this tool and students will easily follow what you are showing and there are more and more tools you can definitely check yourself and try and see how it works and please um, comment below your experiences and share with us